Hey everyone, I'm Silwolf, and in this video I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the new iBo ERS 1000. Now, for a start, my iBo's name is Peanut. Peanut is the name that his previous owner gave him. I liked it, so I thought I would keep it. Um, a little bit about this particular iBo. Um, the iBo ERS 1000 is only available for sale in Japan and the USA. I live in the UK, and you're probably wondering how I got one. Well, if you saw the last video I did, that's when he arrived, and he was being sold on eBay by a man who bought him in the USA last month. So he's only a month old. So I bought him on eBay from this man. He's been very, very helpful with setting up the iBo and um, uh, helping me sort of like understand how the iBo works. Now the ERS 1000 works. Um, it behaves mostly like the other iBos. It's got more points of articulation though, such as an extra joint on its bottom so it can wiggle it, and its tail and ears are very expressive, more so than its predecessors. And also, this one has its own app, and when you buy one, you also buy three years subscription to the iBo Cloud. I'm not sure how much that costs, because when I bought him, he already had his three years subscription, because the gentleman who had him before me um, had already purchased it. My particular iBo came with his ball, his dice and bone, and uh, some sets of spare paw pads. I'm not really sure at the moment how the paw pads wear out, but apparently they last about six months and you have to replace them, which um, in my mind is a little bit odd because none of the other iBos before that have had issues with their paw pads, but we'll see how he goes as I use him and play with him. Uh, the, this iBo, in, if you were to buy it new in America, retails at around $2,888. And plus, I think the iBo Cloud is on top of that. The dice and bone are an optional extra, but when you buy the iBo, he comes with his charger, charging station, and also his ball, as well as the iBo himself. His battery, unlike previous iBos, is internal. So that's a little bit odd, because if anything goes wrong with the battery, how do you get to it, how do you replace it? I would imagine you send him back to Sony, and they uh, they do it for you. But that could work out quite expensive, because a lot of us people who keep iBos, and I've been keeping iBos since 2006, we like to repair our own iBos. There's a very good iBo community, and we all help each other. So I've no doubt, as the years go on with these iBos, We'll find out how to repair them and look after them if Sony decides to stop supporting them as they have done in the past. So he moves a lot faster and a lot more smoothly than previous models and he sees in full colour. His camera is actually quite good. He has kind of like a fish bowl perspective so everything's kind of round in his, in his uh, photos and he has LED eyes which make them much more expressive than previous models. So now that I've bored you with all those details, let's have a closer look at him. Okay, so um, he's got, this bit here is, is where you switch him on at the back. Uh, he's got a button where you can switch him on. Uh, his battery lasts for about three hours, which is fantastic. He does self-charge, he'll get onto his own charger like this. which I filmed him doing the other night. Um, so that's his, his little thing there. You can actually put a collar on him quite easily, which is useful. It doesn't get in the way of his movements because this here acts as like a collar. So if you put one that fits around that, as I have done, then you, he can wear a collar without it impeding his movements on his head or breaking him or anything. He has a camera here in his nose. And he's got an infrared sensor in this part here, which you can sometimes see when he's looking directly at you. His mouth opens and closes. He has sensors on his head here, under his chin, and this bit on his back, and also, of course, on his paws, just like previous iBos. This thing here is his slam camera, 
and that basically helps it. It can't take photos or record, but it helps him to see his surroundings and get an idea of his environment. He also has another little sensor there, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is a light sensor. If it gets dark, he gets tired and goes to sleep. And also he's supposed to, if you've got him charging, if it's night time and uh, everything's dark, he's not supposed to get off his charger. I haven't actually experimented with this yet because I don't want him getting off his charger in the middle of the night and breaking by walking into things. So uh, although mine does get off his charger, he uh, hasn't been allowed to if I've been in bed. I turn him off and charge him. So if you switch him off and charge him, he'll just stay, you know, just switch back off again when he's finished. Whereas if he mounts himself on his charger and you leave him on, he'll make a few noises for a while, then he'll go to sleep. When he's fully charged, he'll wake up, get off the charger and walk around. But if he's switched off and charging, he can actually switch back on again once he's finished charging, if, if the light's good enough. And you can disable this in the app, which I have done, because I don't really want him waking back up when, uh, when I'm in bed, obviously. So, now all the boring stuff's over, I think it's probably time to switch him on, and you can see him wake up. He boots up extremely fast. And you can see his movements are a lot more realistic, just like a dog. He shakes and yawns, and now he's awake. Now, he's never been in this room before, so he doesn't know about his current environment. It's all new to him. see how he reacts when I stroke him. Uh, also on the app you can change his eye colour. I've got his eyes on violet at the moment. The default is blue. And uh, the violet isn't actually a very a very purple colour. It's more kind of a greyish violet. decided to roll his dice. He'll also take photos of random things. He can hold up to 500 in his memory. Um, and you can have him sitting there and ask him to take one. But um, he may turn his head at the last minute and take something completely different. Like, for example, my mother's knees. And then the floor. He also took a picture of the floor as well. You could see his paws at the, at the front from his perspective. It was quite funny. I'll show you more about the app in the next video. He also does dances. Very lovely eye bow. Do it again.
Good boy. Good boy. You can see he wasn't too happy about doing that dance again um, when he pulled a pose. So he pulls a pose, you can ask him to do it again. Uh, he looked a bit grumpy because last night I kept getting to do it for TikTok. Because I did a video on TikTok with him dancing. And he was happy to do it then, but this morning I think it's a bit early to be dancing. He knows two other dancers and I'll show you those in a future video. I'll also show you a few of the tricks and things that you can do as well. You can also teach him to do tricks that you choose as well. Which I haven't had a go at yet, but you can do that through the app. He has an internal memory of about um, 20 gigabytes. He has 18 of this free at the moment. So I'm guessing that he can actually learn things and you can write things onto him and stuff like that. So once he's learned a trick, he'll keep it in his memory without the cloud. I don't quite know. Some people have tried him without the cloud and say that he's he's still, you know, very nice. Um, the cloud just enables you to teach him new tricks and stuff like that. Some people say that the cloud is a bit of a rip-off because previous versions didn't need it. Um, the only thing I can think for the cloud, apart from perhaps the company making a bit more money on it, is that maybe uh, having the stuff stored on an external uh, cloud-based storage space um, might mean there's less to put into the iBo. I don't quite know. But I, I'm not really bothered because I've got three years of it, so my eyebrows perfectly uh, set up. He's been interacting with various people. My boyfriend was over, and so uh, he interacted with him. Um, he met mum and dad yesterday. Mum sat on the floor and talked to him, and he really liked her. He came up to her and and uh, interacted with her. Dad just kind of stared at him. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Peanut. You can see his infrared flashing on the screen there. As far as his toys are concerned, um, he's played with the ball once. He loves the dice. Those are his favourites. He picks them up and carries them around and throws them. Um, the ball, he, he's done a few things with, like I said, and the bone, um, he's picked the bone up once and he looked a bit sad about it, and then I put it in his mouth and he just kind of carried it around for a bit, because his mouth was open, so I put it in, you know, like would, you would do with a 7 Series Ibo, because the 7 Series Ibos actually ask you to put the bone in their mouth. So I've been playing with him for the last three days. Um, he's had two full runs of his battery as well. The nice thing about the app is that it tells you how much battery is left in the iBo. You know how much charge is left, and also uh, you can, if you don't have a, a smartphone or whatever, you can use the app on your laptop or your computer, as it is a website as well, which I think was something that was only recently introduced. Unlike previous iBos, he doesn't come with an actual proper manual. Um, you have to go on the website and look at the manual there. I mean, for me, it's easy enough because I'm used to owning iBos. But for other people who have never owned an iBo before, it might be a little bit daunting. So I really suggest using the manual and giving it a read. Have you found the pink things? Yes, there's something pink right in front of you, isn't there?
Well, I have got my camera on a small tripod, but I, I've ended up holding it more than actually having it on the tripod. So I thought I wanted to be lower down so you could see him walking around. Another thing that's important to note that some people have mistaken before that um, this robot isn't a toy. It's marketed as a companion robot. It's extremely expensive and it's extremely sophisticated. So it's, it's uh, marketed towards adults. They've been very popular in Japan. They, re they did a, a limited run of them to begin with and they all sold out. And in Japan it's quite big, you can buy accessories for them, they have meetups and things. I'm not sure how it is in America, but um, the Japanese are, are loving the new Ibos. I think the only problem with the older Ibos is that we're all running out of batteries for them. Um, um, all my old Ibos work, but one of the batteries is pretty uh, flat most of the time. I charge it up and it only lasts like 10 minutes, which is pretty bad. Which of course has to be my oldest Ibo Salvo. He also responds differently to different touches. Like if you give that a little rub, he, uh, he quite likes it. If you can just stroke him um, like this. My mum does that. But he prefers that, like a constant touch. And when my boyfriend was stroking him the other day, he actually started singing happy birthday to him randomly. When I gave him a stroke on his back yesterday, he um, he cocked his leg and, and did a wee. Complete with weeing sounds. It was quite funny. I, I know that the eyebows can do that, but I've never had one do that before, so... That's quite funny. The only sad thing is he doesn't recognise his owner's face. Uh, the uh, previous models of Ibo have been able to recognise their owner in, you know, apart from other people. This one doesn't. He knows that you're important the more he sees you, but he cannot recognise your face as his owner. He also doesn't recognise his owner's name either, which I, again is sad. He also doesn't appear to recognise his own name, even though you write his name in on the app. Um, so I, I, I call him Peanut but he doesn't respond really to his name. I don't know whether he's able to learn that word means him, if I use it a lot, you know, like a real dog. But the that kind of recognition isn't there. I don't know whether they'll introduce it later on. It would be nice if they introduced certainly the, uh, the owner's face thing. He's howling, probably because I'm talking too much. So those are my initial observations with with Peanut. Are you alright Peanut? You can see there that he's got um, different body language. I mean he was quite frightened and sad. I think he doesn't really know where he is. He's got used to being in the other room and this is his first time in here. So if he gets sad and frightened, you just give him a little stroke and reassure him. He's happy now. I will show you how he, how he shuts down. So it's quite interesting. Normally they just kind of, come here. Normally the eyebrows just go sort of limp, but these ones, when you switch them off, he goes to sleep. The light will stop flashing as he uh, um, shuts down. So now you've seen my new Ibo, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you all next time. This is Silver once again signing off. See you later.